12, 25 here. You're tuned in to the Maya Kai Show coming to you live from the Smooth 90.5 FM HD Radio Studios. Uh-huh. Or perhaps you are listening via Sirius XM Channel 432. And as always, people. that's right, the fancy folks, subscription <laughs> folks, that's right. But you can always check, check us out online. Just go to Live 365. Or if you'd like to watch and listen, check out my Smooth Dance Moves. You can always go to the station website. That's www.wgsjbcradio.com. And just click on the live stream app, and you can watch it that way. You can also listen through the station website as well. So different ways that you can listen or uh-huh. watch the show. If you want to join the conversation, don't be shy. Call in at 708-223-0030. Call me. That's right. <laughs> what do you say? Like, call me. <laughs> call me. You can get social with the show at the Maya Kai Show via Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, Braden. There you go. So, so many ways that you can decide to interact with us. Okay, so, the awful truth is obviously those segments where we talk about... The awful truth. The awful truth. <laughs> the, the ugly underbelly of the truth. <laughs> that we hate to admit that things are going on or that something that seems, you know, just heinous actually has some truth to it. Mm-hmm. Though we don't like to talk about it. And it's never been a secret that there have been affairs between prison guards and inmates, whether it's male or female or vice versa. Right. That's, that, that's not a secret. Um, I guess for me... Mind-boggling. It's mind secret. I'm going to tell you why it's mind-boggling for me. <laughs> mind-boggling. What's, what's mind-boggling about it to me is if I happen to be the prison guard, why is it that I would be having a relationship with the inmate? God. Now, I get the inmate wanting the relationship yes. with the prison guard. Yes. One, I mean, trying to get perks, but two, at least gives you some semblance that you're still human. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say, I watch a lot of TV shows and prison shows and that kind of thing, because I just do. And I'm going to tell you, I, 90% of them jokers are not attractive. So I don't, e- I don't even get, oh, my gosh. That's what I don't. I get, like I said, if you're the criminals inmate. Criminals look it, like criminals. I mean, but I'm like, so you get, mm. it doesn't matter, you know, what the guard looks like to the inmate. You're going to take the opportunity. Absolutely. So, there was an investigation done in a maximum security prison in Baltimore, and it was found that the inmates were using sex to run the prison. That's nuts. Okay. Talk about step your game up, That's fellas. Nuts. When the inmates can run the prison yes. using sex, yes. That's ma- somebody's got mad game. Some mad game. Okay. Somebody's so. desperate. No, it's no they don't have mad game. <laughs> somebody's right, just desperate. World. Okay, so after what happened in upstate New York, obviously a lot of prisons are under heavy scrutiny, especially when they are, you know, maximum security with the two escapees. But one obviously was killed, one's caught back in custody. But that whole system up in upstate New York and Danamora, New York, it's called the Clinton Correctional Facility. They pretty much have turned staff over. People have been, you know, fired because mm-hmm. they're like, how do these two people get, get, get out? And, and, they, and yeah. they're finding there's been an elaborate network to this, that it wasn't they were just that clever, that it was a whole prison system going on here for them to get out. So that's caused a lot of scrutiny. Well, what's interesting is that there was an investigation of a Baltimore prison, and according to this investigation, there were sexual relationships were rampant. Now, here's the thing. I'm still talking about New York. They said that sexual relationships were rampant in this situation with the two escapees, and that was part of what played into them being able to get out. Well, that's, that's not even the icing on the cake because... That just kind of opened up a bigger okay. story mm-hmm. because back in February, the Baltimore City Detention Center made headlines for a similar situation where Tevon White, not Kevin, but Tevon mm-hmm. White, who allegedly had numbers of affairs with various prison guards. In fact, he impregnated four let me, guards. Let me, let me click on. Let me just click. Four on. guards, according to the 19 Action News, who reported this story. Hey, Columbus. Okay. It's one thing that you're messing around with the prisoners, okay? But to allow yourself to get impregnated, I was like, what kind L- of... Listen to this. Listen to this. First of all, listen to this. They said, oh, my God, this is crazy. They look for the weak. They look for insecurity. They look if they're beautiful, body parts, the unintelligent, the not so bright. And then they look for the hustler females. And then they look for the promiscuous females. I mean, it's just, it's, it's and crazy. And so the inmate, they said the inmate would throw the compliments like, you know, baby, you look good today, or, oh, your hair looks, who is falling for this? Okay, you're the inmate. <laughs> you're the of inmate. Course my, of course I look nice today. Right, when's the last when time you saw a woman? Right. <laughs> On my worst day, you're probably like, baby, look good. Do I really? Do I really look good? Am I going to who's but falling here's, for this? But see, but that's why I think you, this dynamic, I, it's, it's nuts. They said between 2001 and 2007 at the Baltimore City Detention Center, 
that there was an increase in 16% of female worker in what is an all male facility. See, this is where I think you need to be careful in dynamics like this. I'm not saying obviously all men should work there, but it probably needs to be a better balance just overall. Because like, let's say something jumps off in the lunchroom. What am I doing? What I mean, am I, what I, get, I, mean, what I, am guess, I doing? I mean, I guess they're capable of handling that. I'm not it, capable of handling that. Well, I know. That's why. Are I you capable of handling that? I don't work there. Most women, honestly, cannot physically overpower a man. No. So probably. I'm just like the dynamics there. But yeah, they were sure. saying that approximately 40% of the workers at these facilities are female. And the numbers are insane of how many m women work there. I mean, it's just that women at one point, there were more employees there at this, at, the, at this detention center in Baltimore. So hence, what you just said of how they preyed on the weak and how they isolated people out. Well, why are you unintelligent? They said the unintelligent, the not so bright. Why are you in charge of a prison if you unintelligent and not so bright? Who's high? Maybe we should look at who we're hiring here. Well, that would be that would be the first thing. That's the first thing. You should not thing. have unintelligent, not so bright people running in prison. That's but, how they but, get yeah, out. But here's the thing, though. I guess the thought pattern is this should be a pretty simple job. All you have to do is watch the inmates. We pretty much have camera systems set up. There's there's checkpoints. There's all these things in place, and all you have to do is follow the rules and the guidelines and the framework that we put in place. So in their minds, it's not rocket science. Why they should know this is wrong and McDonald's proved this for everybody, the reason there's McDonald's University is that because people, they would tell them when you make a McDonald's hamburger, it's the patty, it's three pickles, and a swirl of mustard, a swirl of ketchup, and that's it. Mm -hmm. They found people kept making the hamburgers according to the way that they wanted them to taste. Right. So they kept coming back and retraining people. So even though you put a system into place, chances are people will bypass things because one, they're lazy, and two, they're like, this is silly. Why am I doing it this way? This is so much extra work. Why am I falling in love with inmates? That's, that's <laughs> extra. What are you talking about? That's no, crazy. how people just don't, you know, how they have this contact. Look, you shouldn't be hiring people that's going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. And I'm saying that if you have <laughs> inmates... That can be like, oh, baby, you look good today. And you're like, okay. And you're going to fall. For, like, that should not, you should know better. than. And I'm looking at Mr. Tavon. I was like, look, before I say anything, let me look no, at No, he's him. nothing. He could not say anything to me on, outside in the free world. There's no way I'm going to walk past <laughs> his little 12 by 12 cell and he let him be like, oh, baby, you look good. And you're going to run the prison? You, well, I, you were, and, I, and I guess they said this was um, the gang that was running this. It was called the Black Gorilla. And I guess they had this lockdown. And they said the key part of this Though it was drugs and contraband, they had a whole system yes, going. They yes. said, which uh, the guards were allowing to happen. They said, but what held this together? The glue to this was, was the pregnant lady. Was the sex? Yeah. And they actually had, they actually had some of the security guards or prison guards rather, having arguments over Tavon White. Like, you know, I'm pregnant with his baby. Like, I don't care because I already got a baby by him. Like, who does that? Okay. How do you still have your job? See, this is what I'm saying. How do you still have your job? If you have babies by Tavon White and you arguing at work, you should not work there anymore. There's a flaw in this system. Clearly, there's a flaw in the system. I just think you can't have a baby by an inmate and still work there. That's well, a remember, conflict of interest. Remember the remember the the woman um, was her name Susan Smith who um, drowned, her kid. drowned her son. Yes. She actually got pregnant by a guard at the prison where she was at. And I'm like, what man impregnates a woman who just killed her two children? I, See what I mean, how things are twisted? Yes. So my thing is, I don't know, I don't know what the solution is to this. It, it's kind of like, can you not have a percentage of women working at a correctional facility where it's you know all male and then vice versa? It, Do you need to flip those ratios? Maybe. I mean, because I've
anybody there, but we were aware of it. Association, including guards and inmates. Yes. It makes us look stupid. The screening process for these applicants obviously needs to change it has to because change. If it was if it was that easy to target women and to have them fall for the okie doke this is ridiculous it is I would, i'm like i'm curious i would love